friends, welcome back to episode three of my Under the Stairs Coffee Bar Makeover. In this episode, I'm shifting gears a little bit and I'm repainting the buffet that I did in episode one. I kind of changed my mind on some of the art that I was using and I've decided to go a whole different route. We'll also be moving that buffet in and adding some upgrades, so a sink. I also added um, some wallpaper and covered the understair storage as well as a new light fixture. Plus I move everything in and get ready for making it fully functional. So let's get started. If you didn't catch episode two, uh, we did a lot of the finishes in that episode, uh, trim work, paint, and the flooring. If you want to go back and watch it, you can click the link above. Now let's get into doing the fixtures. In episode one, I refinished this buffet to this kind of teal color, which I just was not loving, and I found some new art that I wanted to use instead. So I decided to go for this blue color, which is really beautiful, very rich, a little bit of a bold pop, but I love it. My little helper Bailey was a little obsessed with my paintbrush, so you can see here he's so helpful and um, kept trying to pull it out of my hand. So finally he decided to move on, but that was fun. The color I used was Coastal Blue by General Finishes. It is one of my favorite paints. It's a milk paint. It goes on so well. I didn't even have to sand this piece very much at all. I uh, really just cleaned it mostly and painted it. Uh, and now I'm just painting over it again a second coat. But goes on great. Uh, it is a paint that I carried in my um, shop for years. Highly recommend it. And um, yeah, I'll link it below. So here it is moved into the space um, and I added this gorgeous gold hardware which again I'll drop a link below on everything I used in this project. You'll see the sink here that we added. Um, we did have to drill a hole in the back and in the top. Um, this is my dad helping me do that and then here is the sink all finished. Uh, it's really pretty. I love how old-fashioned the fixture is. It has a spray nozzle that is really handy for filling up the coffee maker. Um, and I'll add this hardware later. Next, I'm going to add this little Frigidaire refrigerator. I believe it's a six or eight can, um, but it actually fits a half and half container and some um, little room to spare. I, we added a cutout for the plug-in in the back of this buffet. And then I just added the hardware that came with it. It's just a simple plug-in. Uh, it is also something that you can use in your vehicle for transporting. Um, you can plug it into the cigarette lighter. So that's kind of cool, but we're just using it for this purpose. And it fit in the space really well. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just so you can see what I did. see here what a perfect fit is for this space. I put this juice in here to kind of see how it would chill and it did a great job. Uh, and by the way, if you have not tried this stuff, it's fantastic. I drink one every afternoon and it actually gives me a little energy. So uh, again, link below. So in full disclosure, I do need to warn you that the cavity where this was while it was closed got a little too warm. So we took the door off and I'm looking into other options for fixing that. So now we're moving on to the little nook that is under the stairs where we store all of our art and uh, mirrors and stuff for different seasons. Uh, it is kind of ugly looking and it's functional and it's a great use of the space. 
We had a couple doors that my dad cut down to the size that would cover it. Uh, he put a little framing around it, and now I'm getting to the creative part of covering them up. I uh, found this wallpaper that had uh, books all over it, which I loved, and it kind of fit the colors that were in that space. Um, and so here I am just cutting them to size. I first started by flipping the door over onto the wallpaper and drawing a line on the inside edge that was going to show the most. And then I cut that up first before I applied it. Adhesive that was on the back by getting it wet and applying it to the door. I think I would have used a peel and stick next time, but it was a little bit weird to work with. I um, got out all the bubbles and then taped it down to dry, which took a couple days. I just wanted to make sure it was fully adhered. I did cut the paper a little bit bigger because I knew that it would shrink as it dried, uh, which it did. It totally did. So I highly recommend that. Now I am just flipping it onto its front side and cutting off the rest of the edges to make a really clean cut. I used a cutting mat and an old quilting blade that I had that was a roller blade. Uh, be careful, these are really sharp, but they give a really clean cut to them. Um, I could have used a razor blade, but I felt like it was gonna kind of chop it up a little bit and I needed that really close cut. Here you can see what a clean cut they gave and then here they are inside the space. I love how they look. It really looks like an old bookcase in here. Not only that, it covered an ugly space so well and uh, now I just need to add hardware. And while we're back here in this corner, let's go ahead and tackle this broom closet. I really want to get my vacuum cleaner in there and some more supplies and it is totally not functional. So I bought a few things um, and got my stuff together. Here is a hook for my ladder was able to get the vacuum cleaner in here. Love this broom rack, it's so handy. And then a couple shelves. Now I have to figure out what to do to cover the space because it is really weird, maybe a curtain or something. Any ideas? Next up is a light fixture. I'm adding the little piece to hold all the jewels and I had already had my dad help me add the fixture to the ceiling. It came unassembled, obviously with all these little parts, it was a little bit of a task, but it turned out so pretty. Uh, here I'm just unwrapping all of the parts and pieces, which I'll show you shortly. They came very well packaged. I actually got this as a semi-used piece on Amazon, which I've never done that before. I was a little nervous that the parts would come damaged or missing pieces, and it didn't. It was in great shape, and I saved a decent amount of money. So highly recommend that if you're wanting to save some funds but want an expensive look. I'll go ahead and speed through this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, but you don't have to watch the whole thing, so. Parts were glass, they weren't plastic, which I loved, and um, the piece was kind of a matte black finish. Uh, it modernized the space a little bit, but still had a little vintage edge to it, which I love. I did realize the uh, light being on was a bit of a distraction, so I did turn that off. Sorry about that. It was a little bit hard to track down a light fixture for this space because it was a very low ceiling being under the stairway uh, and it could not be very large at all. So I did find another really pretty milk glass light, but it had LED lights already installed in it and it glowed this really strange yellow color. So we returned that and then exchanged it for this one. A lot of the low profile lights were very builder grade and did not have a lot of character to them and I wanted something unique. So we hunted for a while to find this one and it is perfect without hitting our heads on it. With all the little pieces that needed to be hooked on there, it was a tiny bit tedious uh, and it did take some time, but I do feel like it was worth it and it turned out so beautiful. Anyway, here it is in all its glory. I love the shimmer of all the glass on the walls and it's just bright enough to give the perfect amount of light for the space. All right, a little progress report just so you can see where we're at. And all of the fixtures are in and ready to go. So getting excited now at this point. We
did scratch a few spots on the wall when we moved in the buffet, so I'm gonna go ahead and touch those up before I finish moving everything else in. Yes, I am painting in a new dress. Is there anybody out there that does the same? I don't know why I risk it because I often ruin my clothing, but I just hate having to change for such little touch-ups. Thankfully, this one got away without getting any paint on it. I did well. So here I start gathering all the items that I want to put in the space. I did coffee, tea, filters, uh, all of our sweetener. Uh, I did some, our coffee maker, our coffee pot, uh, some little containers. And this cabinet really stored a ton of stuff. So I even put some seasonal dishes below uh, and extra mugs that were seasonal as well. So, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. I didn't want to cut it out because I wanted to show you how much stuff I was able to get in this space. And I still haven't filled it all up. There's a whole nother shelf available. So this was a huge, huge change from our old space. I'll show you a clip of it before what I was using. It was just a spot on the counter by the sink in the kitchen. And it was always having stuff sitting in front of it. I was always cleaning in front of it. And I'm so excited about how this space is going to work for me. I hope this is just an encouragement to you that you might be able to take an unused or underutilized space in your home and turn it into something that is so much better. This mug was given to me by a dear friend when I was going through a really rough time at my shop and we were having a lot of crime issues and just super stressful. It makes me smile every time I use it. All right, you guys, here it is so far. Um, I love how it's coming together. I did add some little fall decorations just for now and put the little piece of art above the sink. I also added a tray underneath the coffee maker just to catch some spills and I might decorate that later. The space has really come together with all the fixtures now and making it way more functional. Next time I'll focus on adding all the finishing touches and the decorations. If you wanna see the final reveal, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you don't miss the next episode. Hopefully you got some inspiration to redo a unique space in your home. That's it for today and I'll see you next time.